play about fracking, yes, but more than that, it's about the change that happens in people when they're forced to make a decision that affects their families and themselves. This simple book of rules has a dotted bottom line. There are no answers. There are no happy endings. Because every ending opens up another can of worms. Do you think about the big picture when the powers that be have always left you out of the big picture? The, the drilling was spooking the deer. I, I wanted to stop the drilling for deer season. See, you, you didn't have the big picture. What's more important? A couple of yahoos getting in their deer hunting? Or creating wealth. You're not equipped to make that decision, Georgie. I need people who know how to follow orders without questioning my authority. Everyone in this town thinks they know what's right for this town, and I'm the only one with a big picture. I know the big picture. No, you don't. You're wearing a clown suit. You're my clown. What if this is your last chance to leave your children an inheritance? Thanks. The right way and the way you do them. Once a punk, always a punk. You let a stupid woman take your money and leave you sitting on your thumbs. Who's the punk, old man? Don't talk about your mother like that. Anyway, I didn't need it. Oh, you didn't need it? I didn't know our name was Rockefeller. I thought it was Wozniak. Oh, I'm stupider than I thought. Oh, you're stupid, all right. Lay off him, Dad. At least for today. What happens when your last chance to make a lot of money means your neighbors will be left with less? Up, strike six. Begins our day. Bruno Wozniak. Out of our way. It's shot in the arm. That doesn't hurt. It's a windfall. It's just desserts. Milk and honey from here and now. Satan, our God, whose hands on the latch. It's too good to be true. There must be a catch. It's a new cash cow to soothe our feelings. Indulge us in financial healing. If you're not born rich, you're a truck in a ditch. But it's our turn now. It's, it's our, our turn. I think plays are an immediate art form, which is why I chose to write this particular story for the theater. I want the lights to go on and have people look each other in the eye and just consider the questions they have just asked themselves. Oh, slushies. All slushies are under lock and key. I don't like your tone, Pop. It sounds like you don't approve. Put that gun away, Georgie. That gun makes you a real big man, Georgie. What are you going to do, shoot me? Shoot you, don't shoot you. Nothing would please you. If you did something right, it would. You're just a loser. Winning is all timing, Pop, and my time has run out. But above all, a play must be fun, so of course I wanted music. I soon found that traditional music was too intrusive on the action, so I decided to have percussion set the beat to the lyrics, which worked out very well. It adds an insistence, an urgency to the message. Percussion says, listen. The other day, God said to me, I've chosen you as deputy. Your assignment to oversee pecunious inequity. If hoi polloi say they're unhappy, turn your back just like your pappy. I'll look away, the word is mum. Go right ahead and get you some. You always take the hit for me, why? You're my favorite Pharisee. Welcome to Morgan, PA. Where petrol soaks the sod. Where the mayor only talks to his lawyer. And his lawyer talks only to God. Amen. Because this is a non-traditional musical, I needed a visionary director. So I was very lucky to meet Lenny Godfrey, whose directing work I was just becoming familiar with. Now, the, the first thing you asked is um, why I'm interested in the play, why I got interested in the play. But it's a different kind of play. I think that in the theater today, we have a tendency to repeat ourselves a little bit too much. And the whole premise about theater is creativity. So it, 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 it presented a challenge of doing something differently. I think when you see the play, you'll see that it has these transitional pieces that we're working on. Some are longer than others. And those are the pieces that tell the story. And then the dialogue pushes the transitional pieces away. So it's in the reverse kind of situation. That's what was interesting to me about it when I sat down and analyzed how I thought I wanted it to go. 
those are the that's the thing that really um, gave me the incentive to do the piece. Okay. And I think I think one of the things that theater should be is it should invoke conversations between people because one of the things that I think that we have lost in the society because of all the technology that we have is that we don't talk to one another. So once this piece is finished, it just starts people thinking about the other person's point of view. That's all we ask. We don't take any sides. We just say, no, this side thinks this way, this side thinks that way. You know, what, what do you think about it? How do you, how would you, given that position, how would you um, react to given that kind of money, or given that position, how do you feel about uh, including or always maintaining your, your heritage? So those are very important conversations that people should have before they, before they make all of the judgments that they do, and that's what I think theater should do.